Hello, my name is Kurt. I'm 26 years old. I've been afflicted with a neuropathic disorder called Charcot-Marie Tooth. What that does is it affects my balance in walking to where I occasionally trip over and fall. It will weaken the diaphragm as well as weakening the diaphragm's ability to properly pump oxygen through my body, including my head, which causes disorientation. I was having complete shutdowns of my breathing function, which range from let's say, one, 10 seconds, all the way up to three minutes in length. And technically, in most cases, Charcot-Marie Tooth is not life-threatening. However, considering the respiratory symptoms, it is life-threatening. When it got to a point where my overall health, including the respiratory, became a concern, I um, felt like, you know, this is my window of opportunity, which is an important saying within the right to die movement. I'm prepared for this. However, um, despite my physical limitations and the symptoms that I endure with, I have a very strong political and religious viewpoint on certain issues, one of them being the right to die movement. I believe that the time I have left here in this world I want to use that time to help promote and maintain the rights of people to live and die with dignity. Then hopefully my interviews and my testimonies will come to the defense of the final exit network so that they may be vindicated and allowed to continue their good work in helping people at their time of need. Arrests or no arrests, there's still that window of opportunity. And unfortunately, if this case is not resolved and I get to the point where I feel I must do it, then at that time I'll have to make that decision to do it alone. Hopefully that won't be the case. Hopefully. I'll continue to live on and support the Right to Die movement and support the Final Exit Network specifically so that these innocent people who are charged may be vindicated and set free and the Final Exit Network can continue to do the wonderful work which they do.